What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today we have a interesting day. So what we're going to be doing, hold on, let me check boss timers real quick. We have Zarka in 50 minutes, don't worry. Um, so we have five rift bosses to do and yesterday we hit something pretty interesting. So we got Tri back on our Black Star and that means we are going to click it to Tet. However, we have to go to Grana or something. Yeah, Grana or Odraxia. And we're going to get some of those, like get the thing to enhance it. But we're going to do bosses first. So let's see, Steel Nux down there. Kavali. Let's start with the Siege Captain, then go down to Grana or Odraxia and get the massive fear magic and then we'll enhance it and then depending on time we'll uh yolo <laughs> anyway so i'm kind of torn right now i want it i should like the smart thing to do would be to hit the black star on a 152 and if that goes up whatever that's cool People say going above 150 is high. I really don't think so. I think as long as you have a higher stack to use something else on, it's fine. Because I've seen people hit Black Stars on like 210 and still fail it. And like some high 200 stack. I don't think I'll ever do that. But um, I think I'd go probably up to 200 on a Black Star. And then... Before making or like starting to click it in again on another stack but um, our goal eventually we'll use this stack until it goes past 178 and then we'll just keep alternating whichever one's higher um, then the highest stack I have will be used for a pen black star clicks and then I have a 160 or 150 in the bank that we all got from the event like a month or two ago I think I just missed it uh, hold up yeah, once I get the 160, we'll start croning like Fallen God armor. I actually see a lot of Fallen God armor sitting on the market these days. Like the other day, there were like five of them. Now there's a lot of duos for some reason. I think you might make a profit if you were to sell a duo at 55. But realistically, you're not making that much of a profit. It's like, what, like $2 billion? So to the point where it probably isn't worth selling unless it's above $60 billion. That's just my opinion. But I mean, you do you, I guess. Um, so yeah, the fact that someone sold a try was pretty outstanding in itself. I hope to get a try one day and then get myself to over 400 DP. That would be nice. Also, we should probably place my own ballot. Oh yeah, I heard in the recent patch notes like two weeks ago or something, um, they changed the Rabom for, or the third Rabom for DKs and the slanted slash one that got better. Because I'm pretty sure one the one we have right now is probably better just in every way. So they're trying to make the slanted slash better. Uh, I'll show you after this fight. But I don't think I'm switching to Rabam. I just like the one I have, just playstyle-wise. I don't actually know which one is better now. But I'll show you what I have after. So I'm gonna... A lot of people have asked me, like, should I play... Or like, should you play DK on season if you're starting out? Honestly, like, I get, the answer is ultimately play what you think is fun. But if you really want to know what a state of DK right now, 
Um, so if you're planning on doing like PB, if you're just a PBE or something, you just like grinding, I think DK is fine. Um, but, and then it's like small node wars, RBF, it's fine. But if you are looking into getting into high-end PvP like Sieges and Tier 4 Node Wars and all that stuff, um, DK does not scale well. It's like a glass cannon, and glass cannons do not really do well in the current meta, or kind of ever, honestly. But, um, yeah, so how do I put this? Most top-end guilds don't even accept DKs or PvP, so... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I could get in, because there's no people in can Merc, but, like, ultimately... People want, like, supports more, and, like, Wizards, Witches... Things that are better than DK. So, I would say, overall, they're not bad, they're just not in the spot where they could compete with other classes reliably for like big pvp stuff and what i would do if i were to like try to balance it even better is so some classes have super armors that last a while or like through the entire animation um well dark knights have it only on the beginning so let me show you an example Wheel of Fortune, right? It says super armor on attack. So you would think if you hit a Wheel of Fortune, the entire circle phase is super armor. That is not correct, and that is not how it works. I've been hit out of it in PvE and PvP, so the way super armor works for Wheel of Fortune is like you see, watch her hand like swing in a circle, or like the first like two seconds or split second like that, that's super armor. The circle itself, not super armor. Kind of stupid, yes, but, I mean, that's what it is right now. So, yeah, that's one of those things that is just, like, if you made the entire circle a super armor, DKs might be a little bit better and can compete with other classes. That was just one example of things I've noticed. There's just a lot of gaps for DKs where, um, I don't know. I don't know, Striker, Mystic, just straight up does everything better. And plus, um, this isn't really a class specific thing, but the game is just designed in a way where CCs are extremely strong, so the first person who gets CC'd usually dies, assuming that both players are like really high-end geared. And you're fighting like you're not fighting like a meme tanky build versus your AP build. Sometimes that's different, but like let's say both people are on trial characters, right? Same gear. Um Yeah. It's not great. But overall for Dark Knights, I'd say succession better than Awakening. Now, they have been trying to buff Awakening for a while to the point where it's still slightly worse than Succession, but it's gotten better. And honestly, if it, like, if I had to give you my opinion, Awakening is more fun to play. It has flashier skills and all. I like Succession mostly because, one, I'm kind of lazy, and ever since the, like, Succession came out, you don't have to C-swap or do some wonky animation cancels to get from main hand to awakening. Dude, I just enjoy that, like not having to do that. It's one less step in your combo, basically. So... Aside from like small things, that's just me. If you're in like a 1v1 or you like doing RBF and uh, battle arena all day, I mean, you'll be fine. Still probably get destroyed by strikers and mystics, but side the point. I think most classes just get bodied by strikers across the board. It's kinda. Hilarious how the devs don't see a problem with them.
But if you're just looking for flashy skills and grinding, playing casually, I'm sure DK is fine. So overall, would I recommend? 99%. Yeah, sure. DKs are fun. Flashy skills look nice. Uh, they grind. Okay. Like, there's still, like, if you're looking to min-max grinding, like, most trash loot in one hour, you're better off still playing Witch and Wizard. But, I mean, if you're just trying to take it casually, you don't care how much loot you get. Or, I mean, you could care, but you just, you're not looking to get that extra few hundred loot. And, yeah, it's fine. As for the problems you may have read like years ago on, in terms of like, hey, I heard Dark Knights use a stupid amount of MP potions. Is that really a problem? No, I mean, if you are free to play and don't have like all the weight, it could be. Or if you're just like, I don't know. In terms of potions, the way it works, in my opinion, is if you're grinding at a spot that is like you don't one shot everything then you'll be fine it's not really a problem if you are like 280 ap and you're grinding poly's forest for some reason yeah you're gonna have issues because you're one shotting everything and you don't get the regen back from uh hits and all that stuff Got a purple box. I don't want to look. Just give me a duo ogre. I don't want to see it. It's not the worst thing I've seen. All right, let's see, where are we going now? Um, we got the thing in here. Honestly, one day I really just gotta run all these scrolls. Do I ever wanna run 45 Awakened Monstrum scrolls? No, because <laughs> it's so boring. Let's head down to Odraxia. We really just wanna pick up one item and that is a massive pure magic. How do I even get there from here? Let's see. Just follow the auto path. By the way, guys, have you get ever since the past like few patches has the game been like a little bit wonky for you in terms of like FPS? For me, it's like it fluctuates a lot. I don't know why. This has to be a Draxia region, right? No, that's a uh, Duvin Cairn. So I tried grinding Olin's Forest a little bit, and my god, dude, that is, that place is scary. I went there for the first time with like Karandis and another Gillies, and I got bodied. <laughs> I'm lucky, like I died, I'm pretty sure like six times in an hour and I'm lucky the only thing I lost was one Viper Crystal, which sounds bad, it is, but like, I'm kind of glad that was the only thing I lost. I could have stunked everything. But that was a while ago, everything is replaced, all my crystals. 
That's also another question I've been getting a lot. What kind of crystals do I have on, have set up? And honestly, my setup is pretty standard. So, um, things people may or may not have just because it's luxury. So in your dandelion, the two crystals, that is kind of optional. Well, I mean, if you're at endgame, it is not optional, but uh, like, it's just a luxury item, so having two extra crystal slots in your dandelion, especially if you're playing Succession, you don't care, right? So, yeah, in your in my Vediant, because it's fiery, um, have two hooms. Things I would replace if you don't have certain things are um, in your shoes. You could also replace that with another two hooms if you want to feel tankier. Um, but because I like PvPing a little bit, the extra knockdown bound resistance is pretty nice to have for me. Just getting, again, like I said earlier, whoever gets CC'd first loses and dies. That's, I wasn't kidding. And end game PvP, that's how it is. So, aside from that, everything else is pretty standard. L cars, if you don't have L cars because they're stupidly expensive, just use Black Magic Crystals. Black Magic Crystal Precisions, or literally just anything that gives accuracy. Um, I've also seen people use Awakening Crystals in your offhand. Um, I used to do that, just for the HP and the random flat AP. But if you are grinding, uh, Corrupted Crystals are literal best in slot for grinding. However, they really do just make you straight, like, more glass cannon. And, uh... Like, you get more crit damage at AP, but you take more damage, basically. So, if you're gonna grind Ash Forest with Corrupted Crystals, you better be careful, and you better know what you're doing. Um, aside from that, Infinity Evasion Crystals, actually very cheap, so I'm not worried about losing those ever. Uh, Vipers, really expensive, you don't really want to lose them. And just straight across the board, whatever class you're playing, should probably have those. Um, harpias in your helmet. Now, these are just evasion crystals. And I've also seen people do... Like, assuming you don't have two hooms in your dandy, right? You just put two hooms in your shoes, two hooms in your hat. That's a four-piece, and you're good to go. I've seen people do that. It's not a big deal. I've tried it once. Uh, fine. That's pretty much my crystal setup. And another common question I've been asked a lot, is it worth going evasion for Dark Knights? And just across the board, going evasion for every class is worth it. However, you, you probably watch some streamers and other content creators on YouTube or something that are like, hey, I have an evasion witch and there's like 490 DP or something. Witches and Wizards evasion skills a lot better. And aside from that, they also have uh, like offhands that go with evasion as well. Whereas we or Dark Knights don't, so we use Kudum. So like, for example, Witches and Wizards, I think Rangers as well, have parrying daggers, which is a stupid like hundred something extra evasion that other classes don't. Plus, on top of that, um, Dark Knights don't really have evasion scaling as high as other classes do, so... Is it better to switch to evasion as a Dark Knight? The answer is technically yes. Will you really notice it? A little bit, but it's not like... If you're gonna get clapped by some 300 AP striker, you're still gonna get clapped, no matter if you're evasion or DR. One just might, uh be one extra second of you surviving. That's about it. So, yeah, hopefully that helped explain it. It's technically, yes, better. Will you notice a difference? Very slightly. It's something you... It's hard to explain. It's more like one of those things you feel. And I probably have some videos of me back in the day with both Pen Erg or yeah, Pen Ergon, Pen Bags before I switched to Lieber and Muskin. Um, 
probably. It's one of those things you see more than me explaining it. Oh. Alright, so here's the goal right now. We're going to do one rift boss at the very top near Velia. Then we're going to click our black star. We have two clicks right now. Um, so here's how it's going to work. It's at try right now. We're going to use a 152 to click it. Um, do I hope it goes tet? Yeah. If it goes tet, I go pen. It would be uh, very nice if I could just you know, one tap it to tet and pen back to back. 152 and 178 fail stacks would be nice, but uh, realistically I would just be happy with uh, Ted at this point. It's been a few months since I've hit anything notable. I think the last thing we've enhanced successfully, or that we got, was Fallen God Armor, and then got it to Duo. Um, for Fallen God, I don't actually remember. I think I used like an 80 stack for base to pry. Maybe a 60? 60, 60 or 80. One of those. I don't remember which ones. But um, yeah, so then from pry to duo, I just kept clicking on like a one... I started at 110. I think I hit it on 140? So honestly, it wasn't that bad. Time effect for the bosses as well. I don't remember. Purple box. It would be nice to get anything but crown stones. Like literally, if it was a purple box, just take out the crown stones. Blue and red boxes, yeah, sure, keep crown stones. I don't care. Well, I do care, but I mean, purple boxes shouldn't. Ooh, how much are these worth? Thirty. Thirty something. All right. Well. Uh, that's cool. Let's go enhance a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. There's this one weird spot around this area that I usually crash on if I'm, like, gliding through. It's kind of weird, so I just have to, like, not glide through there. I think we're, we're safe. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, before we do anything... I don't even know if I have any money in Alta Nova. That's the bad part. I don't, I'll take it out of Central Market if I have to, but I don't think I have any silver in Alta Nova. But let's do some Nightbenders a little bit. It's been about two years since we made a Nightbender video, so I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen it. I do have a playlist somewhere on the channel where it's like Nightbender rolls, and then we would. This was all back in the day before I even I wasn't really geared and. This is sometime 
back when getting boss armor itself was like even at base was a rare idea or like rare thing so it was like oh my god you can get a uh, cool item and all that stuff where is this I think I know where I am General goods. Okay, yes. How much money do we have in Altanova? Nine million silver. That is not a lot. You have entered Heidel Group's chat. What? Back in the day, getting hard in shops was like an exciting thing. Nowadays, it's like, no, don't care. Definitely don't care. Getting the triple bundle is always a rare idea. A 30 stack for 21 million. Yeah, no. Mm. I think that's like... Hold on, let me just check. I'm pretty sure it is worth it to get that one. Okay, so 1.4. Let's just round it. So it's like 4 million. Yeah, that's worth buying. No. This is literally double the price of how much it should be. No. You know, take out one of those zeros and I would... Uh, <laughs> take... That's got to be one of the biggest scams I think I've ever seen. Nice. Yeah. You guys who watched my uh, Season 2 Hisashin series, it wasn't really that exciting. We just did the quest line again and grinded a little bit. But uh, I think I'm enjoying Nova a lot more than Hisashin. That's. I don't know why. I just like the way Nova plays. All right, 152 stack. Should I click it on this? I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, I know I shouldn't be clicking it on the 170 stack because that one is the one we're going to use for pen if we ever get Tet. I forgot to put the things in the storage.
I really need to keep grinding. It's like I do one hour a day at Stars End and just feel burnt out. To the point where I haven't I have more fun life skilling than uh grinding. I don't know why. Before it used to be the opposite. Nowadays it's just like I'd rather just chop logs or go gather stuff in in peace and not have to worry about PvP duel for spots every ten minutes, cause not my fault the game only has so many good spots. Are we gonna do the tinfoil? We're gonna do the tinfoil, boys. You know, let's try. We have a tri black star and two stones. That's like an easy pen. Just don't fail. We like lighting money on fire, so let's buy the golden hand elixir. Whoever just made 120, 120k off me for that, I just want you to hope you're happy. I don't know why anyone buys these. I think the real reason people buy and sell these is for uh, imperial deliveries. Not memeing in. All right, anyway, this is the dark room where we hit literally all of our pens. So, Tet Black Star is pen in my eyes. That's a lot of cron stones to be croning it. You, you cron duo to try, not try to Tet. Why can't I just have good luck like some people? <laughs> but yeah, this is what's the plan. Tet, black star clicks on this character until it goes up. If it goes past 178, then we alternate like back and forth and whichever one's the highest, just you save that one, right? Okay, so anyway. Golden hand elixir failed us. Feels bad. I'm gonna fail like 8% forever. What a scary thought. The reason why we cron duo to try is because I have a feeling I can hit it in under like so try to tet if you save it. Six hundred crons, right? However, you don't get the fail stacks for that. If you got fail stacks and you croned it, I mean I I would always cron try or try to tet. But at the same time, like getting what, a seventy stack? It's so easy these days. And then but the uh, like flawless crystal thingy? Not so much. Well, uh, we are at a dilemma that uh, I would love to click this again, but we can't. So, hmm. hold up. No, we literally spent the. Ha Last half an hour going down to Grana and Odraxia to get the massive pure magics. And now that we have it again, <laughs> we don't have any more. I also have to finish the last 19 embers to get another thingy. Well then, um, I literally cannot make, like you need three of these and combine it with the remnant of the rift to do another click. But we don't have that. So all I could do right now is prep another 70 stack for when that try fails again. Or that TED attempt fails. I 
Honestly, if I fail to two tap black star clicks, I might just use the 170 on a try fallen god. Not even kidding. Want to see something funny? Look at all these fail stacks that they just give you. These are from 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 40, 40 and up. Oh, that's not even the best part. Here are my hundreds of three of them and 150 from the event that we should all have. Nowadays, unless you're like Biohack, you do not have to ever enhance. Look at all those 50 stacks and then 40s, 30, 20, 10, everything in between. That is so sad. I don't think I'll ever empty my fail stacks out. But yeah, um, I would love to try to click this again. I just don't have the materials for it, unfortunately. So uh, next time. So I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Also, if you haven't already, join the Discord. You guys can ask me questions, just hang out, or if I'm ever running scrolls or anything and you guys just want to join in, cool. Um, so yeah, that'll be happening on Discord. Leave a comment and all that stuff. Cool, and I'll see you later.